super fun live show out showing where the rocket mass heater is at this point. I've stuck my hands inside and played with the charcoal, which I wasn't supposed to do. Yeah. <laughs> but now we're going to show some where the magic happens, how it all works. And I'm just going to do a little explanation here of some of the ways that I came up and what my thought process was here. Before you start, do you mind explaining? A lot of people have said, why didn't you use the brick? And mm -hmm. so can we go back to why you want to use the lighter materials? Um, it, it was a situation where the cabin I was putting it in for Julie uh, didn't have a foundation. It just had a plywood floor. And we couldn't put... Uh, I don't think people understand how heavy that brick is. Right. You know, they, they're meant to be permanent. And Julie goes, well, it's got to be light. <laughs> I got to be able to move it because it, I know it's going to be cool and I want to keep it. Right. And, <laughs> right. And, and so one of the things I'm excited about with what Darwin has done is that he, he did create the new tool for the AirCrete. And it's something that even I could use. I, I, I know that you did some, um, what was the word? Some, uh, it starts with the P. Um, proprietary. Proprietary. You have proprietary blends. So my ability to go through and figure out the right blend is not going to happen. And so you've done hundreds of tests with work, and then you've done yeah. many tests with, with this to get it right. So one of the nice things is that Darwin is coming up with some mixes that you can purchase the, the combination of materials so that you can get it right without spending a lot of money and putting your family at danger by doing it incorrectly. Yeah, I've done a ton and hours and hours and ton of tests on these mixes to get them right. I'm like a mad scientist out here. Right. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm not out to gouge people. It's going to be something that you can go to Honeydew Carpenter Shop and download. And the tool itself you know. is kind of eternally useful. It is. It, you can use it for all sorts of projects. Anytime you need a lightweight type of uh, concrete, uh, it's there. And a small piece of it and just filed off the corners just to show people. And it's entrained with all these little microscopic cells of air. And that's kind of the main ingredient. So it's a tool. It's not a promise that every project will turn out right, but it's a tool that as you learn how to use it and you use the right mix in it, you can make anything. I had this crazy idea that because I had seen water glass used in combination with perlite as the water glass being the uh, adhesive to make a refractory mix. And I thought, what if I could make a glass foam with my foam mate? What if I could turn this glass, this soluble glass, that when, when you get it warm, turns it literally turns to permanent glass as soon as you heat it up and get all the air out of it. Little drop. Boom. But this stuff is like a syrup. And, uh, and you actually have to dilute it to get it to um, absorb into concrete at all for any... But you just a thin layer. As soon as you heat it and get all the water out of it, it turns, it, it expands, binds, and turns to glass, and it's hard. And what does it look a lot like? Perlite. Isn't that amazing? It does. It looks just like perlite. Yeah. Okay, hold Yeah, and it turns hard and acts as a binder and an adhesive when it's around things. This stuff is so syrupy it didn't absorb in very well at all. So I had to dilute it a little bit. I diluted it about 50-50 and I made a mix like this. I don't know, can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. And my idea was is that I could take and seal my that are a little bit maybe brittle I could take water glass solution and soak it into it until it's good and soaked and seal it. And 
And this is going to be crazy what you guys see next because it, I mean, you see all these little divots and little pits in the uh, refractory mix because of the perlite uh, that I used kind of as, a, as an aggregate. It's still kind of soaking it up. There, it, it quit soaking. So I just keep putting it on until it kind of quits soaking it up real fast. And then I needed something to remove the moisture in the water out of this so it was a concentrated again. So it would perform right when it got put under heat and I put it on the rocket mass stove. So to remove the uh, water from it, which I just put a little Portland cement on there to act as an uh, absorber, which that's what Portland cement does is it uh, dissipates water. That's how concrete works. You make it with water and as long as it's moving it's good to go. But watch this. Look how smooth that's getting. It's filling all the pitted areas in where the glass is. You can see the moisture soaking and the water glass soaking up into it. And I just kept doing that until the uh, Portland cement basically stayed dry. And so when you see this one and you see the little outside layers that were flaking off, I'm not worried about that at all because there's another layer under and there's this water glass that's soaked into it like a quarter of an inch that has just kind of created a glass-like uh, coating around the whole refractory. So, and I mean, look how smooth it makes it, how smooth it makes the, uh, all the divots that were in there. Kind of crazy. And then I just let it sit and dry uh, because this, let the Portland cement remove the water from the water glass. And then after I got the rocket stove going and put this riser on it, it got hot and it it just sealed them i mean look at the inside of that can you see that mm -hmm. is that crazy and this has been subject to about 1800 degrees for hours last night with white blue flames shooting through it um, the insulative properties of it is insane where in the right above, right above the vortex chamber, where it was like 16, 1800 degrees. Uh, the most I could get on the outside of this can was 160 degrees. You were. Yeah, okay. I'm like, Don't what if this doesn't work? It's going to put me a week behind and Julie will hate me. Oh. No. <laughs> I've just been like, well, um, we're leaving. I hope I can get a whole bunch of <laughs> <laughs> So, go ahead and check out our video on Aircrete. Uh, I put together a thing I call a foam mate that just absolutely worked awesome for making Aircrete. Um, so, if you like what we're doing, like and subscribe. And go ahead and check us out at the Honeydew Carpenter Shop in our Etsy store as well.